many people work from home in these times, which was facilitated and rushed in by lockdown. There are many jobs that can be done from home, with people choosing to do this, either from convenience or necessity. For anyone that has mental health issues and suffers from agoraphobia due to past trauma and or bullying, then it's an ideal solution. Some people don't earn a living wage from their job and may choose to increase their income by doing a part-time role from home. It's a personal choice. There are many companies that offer hybrid working, such as two days per week at home and three days in the office after a period of probation. If you offer two days working from home, then why can't you offer this full time? It almost sounds like you want people in the office because you don't trust them. And who wants to work for a boss or company that doesn't trust you? Why not give people that option and let them decide? Unfortunately, in our present times, there are many scams out there and working from home independently or freelancing is certainly no exception. For anyone that uses work platforms such as Upwork, previously Odesk or Elance, Freelancer, Fiverr or any one of the work from home sites, please take care. All of these sites offer valid work from genuine companies, but there are some scamming companies that slip through the net. Here are a few examples of scams to watch out for. Some of these scams have been going for over 10 years or more, and some are fairly new. All of them exist and have actually happened to people. So if you've been scanned by some or all of these, then you'll understand. On writing articles, scripts or making videos for YouTube, you're invited to attend an interview and part of the interview is to write an article or script on a subject that is sent to you as part of the interview. After a couple of hours researching, writing a 500 plus word article with strategically placed keywords, which are important for SEO on websites, all original work, of course, with no plagiarism or AI involved, you then submit your article. Your article is rejected since you have not used the template that was provided. The template is never at any stage provided. Any down payment you may have received is then removed from your account. All internet work-based agencies can legally do this if the client is dissatisfied with the work provided. If 200 people have applied for the job and accepted the interview, then this client receives 200 original articles to use in whatever way they choose for free. Another example would be practically the same as the previous example, except this scam differs a little in the fact that the article is to be written in Oxford English and preference is given to native language English speakers. Once the article has been submitted, you're then informed of many spelling mistakes. This is because an American based spell check has been used. On writing a fashion article, words such as color and jewelry will be shown as errors since they are spelt C-O-L-O-R and J-E-W-E-L-R-Y in American English. The result is the same. You're not paid, but the client has a free article in Oxford English. Another example would be after submitting your work, you're flat out rejected and told your work was not good enough, which you believe to be true. However, sometime later, you may be surprised to find your article floating around the internet and published. Evidently, your work was good enough, but the company just didn't want to pay you. They, of course, have made money from your work, whilst you haven't. Your profile has been read and you've received an email inviting you for an interview. This company will grill you regarding all your personal work details and then inform you that they have work for you at a starting salary of $30 an hour, which is about €28 Euros an hour, £24 an hour by the rate of February 2024. They will send you all the software that you need to start work, which will cost you $750 and you need to pay this amount before you start work. They claim to be a wonderful new company who are paving the way with a revolutionary new method for curing a disease such as cancer, 
saving the planet from pollution or protecting the rainforest and endangered animals. You decide to give them your time since they are convincing and you believe that the spiel they give is correct. In my opinion, this is the lowest of the low. Using a disease such as cancer as a method to gain attention and targeting people who are looking for work by offering hope suggests people with no scruples and no morals whatsoever. Some companies or individuals are offering $3 for their project. Taking pride in your work and doing a good job takes time. Your time is precious, so make sure you're compensated fairly. Three dollars is the equivalent of two pounds thirty-eight pence or two euros seventy-nine cents. The choice is yours, but just a reminder that the minimum wage in the UK as of April 2024 is eleven pound forty-four per hour. Take pride in yourself, know your worth and value your time. You may be looking for administration work in accounts or data entry. You're told that you've been offered the job of accounting work. You will have access to very sensitive and confidential information. Yes, this is very true in accounts. Please can you send a scanned copy of your ID, such as passports or driver's license, before commencing work. This is usual for accounts work. However, this email is sent from outside the email protection of the agency. The job does not exist and you have just given your formal ID to a complete stranger on the internet. There are many scams that target large internet audiences such as Facebook, Twitter or X, TikTok, and now the third party job agencies such as Indeed, Read, Total Jobs, etc, etc. The audience for these agencies grows daily as more and more people are turning to the internet as a way to make money. If you're offered work outside the agency, then this is because the client doesn't want to pay the agency. And if they don't want to pay the agency, then they probably don't want to pay you either. Also, if a job sounds too good to be true, then it probably is and is best to be avoided. There are professional companies out there too. So don't be put off, just be aware. Another scam might be, you applied to us earlier and weren't successful. However, this is an opportunity to try again by doing voluntary work. Oh, I see. I wasn't good enough to pay, but you would like me to work for free. Hmm. No, thanks. You might see a work from home advert for a large global company such as British Airways on YouTube. However, if you go to the real British Airways website, you'll see that these jobs don't exist. The adverts on YouTube take you to sites where you can fill in surveys. You're not paid the hundreds of pounds that they offer. You'll receive a voucher, which takes ages to get, or points for prizes for things that you don't want and would never buy. It's an old scam since they've been doing it for over 10 years now, but don't fall for it. Of course, it's always about choice and many people will choose to do these anyway, but just be aware. There are genuine companies out there who will pay a decent amount for a good day's work. Not all companies and individuals are scammers, so keep on looking and keep on trying. Remember, if you throw enough darts at a dartboard, eventually you'll get a double. Keep being true to yourself because you're awesome. Thank you for listening and take care.